Hi guys, this is Saru245, that anime guy here with another anime, manga, video game update video for the month of May 2015. Finally, this is been, this time I'm on time this time. <laughs> so yeah, so this month I would say it was even better than the last. It was pretty freaking awesome. Like. Game wise, anime, and definitely manga wise. Kind of went a little crazy there. But, you know, you love something so much, you know, you couldn't stop yourself from getting it. Alright, so I'll let my. I'll start off with the games that I got in May. So, another. Another Vita game, which makes me hard to believe people say, keep saying the Vita is dying because. What's dying here is my wallet because there's so many, and that is. And the first is another of a series that I really enjoy, and another spin off of it that is Hyper Dimension Neptunia U Action Unleashed. And out of the spin offs, this is my favorite because of the gameplay. The gameplay wise is my most enjoyable one, just because it's like a Warriors, Dynasty Warriors type gameplay with you know lots of enemies, and it's like action game, and you attack them. It's just fun to just destroy doggoos over and over again. <laughs> just, just slaughter them. <laughs> but yeah, I've really been enjoying this game so far. <laughs> yeah, that's Neptune in our oh, purple heart form. Here, that's Denkeki coat. And for me too, the, they represent the ja a Japanese game magazines who review the game who view games in Japan and this is their personification their versions no girl versions I guess we, I read the back real quick it says well, up, up here it says face off against massive hordes a whirlwind of hack and slashery hits the aim industry rip through enemies before they rip through you new friends join the fray as you can see I put in the light Pictures. Yeah, you could put like a so it's all like you could go on missions by yourself or in the mission of a team of two. So yeah, and it's kind of fun to see the little bit of the interactions they have depending on who you pick. So yeah, it's been fun so far. I've been enjoying. I haven't been in it yet, but I've been enjoying it so far. Another game that I've really been enjoying. And I have beaten. And it is Devil Survivor 2. Break record. And like I thought I would enjoy this game. I really did. In the full English dub voice acting. Really really helped out. Because I have the DS game. Which I kind of gave away. Because I have this one. The better one. <laughs> so yeah. I beat it. Ironically enough. I beat it in two weeks. So it has like two stories that taken place in, two, in weeks. In one week each so yeah that was cool so I did um for some reason I did an unboxing for this <laughs> so it's, it's not too big or anything so my well, my favorite characters I right here I always pick like, every one of her events <laughs> so out of her point so yeah got some endings I got some pretty good I guess endings <laughs> so yeah one better than the other I would say but yeah it was good and this is a good game which I only I hell I would I would play it again so I had so much fun we'll go through another playthrough but I have to stop because I have to go through my bat long so I have to wait I have to leave it for another time and now it's time to switch to the anime thing well way of things and that is Naruto Shippuden box at 22 which I got from right stuff but I didn't do a right stuff from boxing because I didn't see what's the point because it's only this and it was well there's a little bit of filler here a little bit though a little bit is too I didn't notice but the canon stuff is really awesome and I really enjoyed this box set 
So I'll read the back real quick. And that's Killer P. And that's you know Naruto, Ino, Choji, Shikamaru. No, you know she got chilled here. Naruto there. And I'll read the back if I can. It's all black and stuff and small. The fourth great ninja war rages on, and danger comes from every angle. Did old comrades and enemies have risen from under from that damn it have <laughs> risen from the grave under the control of Kabuto to fight the allied forces while some retain their calm others must wrestle with their emotions Naruto's Naruto's training has made him more powerful but some believe his possession of the nine tails makes him a liability meanwhile Sakura and the medical forces uh, medical ninja face unique danger as the enemy may be in their midst behind the allied lines. Can the allied forces survive assassins and their reanimated friends to win the war? And this DVD covers episodes 271 to 283. We're almost to the 300 episode mark in English dub. So yeah, this is a fun slew of episodes. And now here comes, like I said in the previous video, I would make up with uh, not having any getting any manga that month and what did I make up for it I couldn't control myself and, and here it is uh, all of it is one series and it is fairy tale started to try to make another since I kind of finished soul eater from beginning to end I'm trying to get another series from beginning to end which has no end yet but it, I'll, I'll figure it out pretty Anyways, I don't think I doubt this will be as long as One Piece, so I don't have to worry about it. So yeah, it's like Fairy Tale Volume Seven. Which I'll read the back real quick. And Guild War: Fairy Tale's rival guild, Phantom Lord, has taken the competition to dangerous levels by smashing the Fairy Tale building and nearly killing three wizards. What is Fairy Tale's response? A full frontal assault on Phantom Lord. But this clash is all but part of the Phantom Lord's evil plot to cap capture a coveted prize. So yeah, it's volume 8, continuing the Phantom Lord arc. I'll read the back real quick. Ultimate Duel. Gajil is a dragon slayer who can shoot huge iron pillar pillars from his body with crushing precision. Precision. While, while dragon slayer Natsu fights with devastating flame attacks, their fierce battle began... The fierce battle began when Gajil's wizard guild, Phantom Lord, assaulted rival guild, Fairy Tail. But can either headquarters withstand two such destructive forces? I don't think so. This ends the Phantom Lord arc. Which to me, this is my favorite of the arc. And this is the Gajil versus Natsu fight in the anime. I really enjoyed it. In the manga, I enjoyed it too. Now so here is a volume all about Lucy Hartphilia. And it's volume, fairy tale volume 9. Just read the back. It's a funny thing because they actually mentioned that. She actually mentions it's all a volume all about herself. <laughs> to read the, in a little, you know, section. Special section thing. Fading wizard. Sty stylish wizard Loki is the ladies man of, fairy tale, of the fairy tale guild. But now he's suddenly broken up with all his girlfriends. Claiming he simply doesn't have the time. It turns out that Loki's life may be about to end, and Lucy, a freshman, is the only one who can save him. But what can a first year wizard do to an, that an inexperienced wizard can't? So, yeah. And here, this volume is the start of when I really started liking Fairy Tale when I started watching the anime. And that is the Tower of Heaven arc. And it starts with Fairy Tale Volume 10. I'll read the back. Shadows of the Past. Ursa Scarlet is the is the most kick butt woman fairy, wizard in fairy tale, but in the past, this indomitable fighter was a slave. Now she finds out that her old companions have completed the evil device they were forced to build while held in slavery, the Tower of Heaven. What's more, their wicked master requires a sacrifice, Ursa. So yeah, yes. Yeah, Another sad backstory in here. Ursa's. 
to me was kind of sadder than Grey's, which was before. But there is another sad one that is kind of, which sounds messed up, is my favorite that comes later on. Though when the anime came earlier than this, but showed earlier than this, but I guess in the anime shows later. I don't know, I haven't read all these volumes yet. Next one is Fairy Tale, Volume 12. Or is that not to Jalal on the cover? I'll read the back real quick. The Doomsday Weapon. Urza and Natsu are trying to stop Jalal from reviving the most feared black wizard the world has ever known. To help in the effort, the Magic Council launches its magic of mass destruction, Etherion. But Jalal knows that the Council's attack could kill both him and the fairy tale wizards, and he isn't running away. What is he plotting? Yeah. Jalal is a very interesting character for me. Like, I really enjoy his character. You now he's connected to. Black Wizard Seraph and everything, the whole mystery with that stuff. Next up is his volume 11 of Airy Tale. Janelle uh, you know, has you know, Lucy and Grey and Natsu being sick again with motion sickness and happy Ed Virgo and some bird dinosaur thing. Oh, anime, how you come up with some crazy-ass things. So, when checkmate means death, Urza's childhood friend Jalal has started to play an elaborate board game, with Natsu and his team as enemy pieces to be eliminated. Meanwhile, Seagrain is trying to get the Magic Council to fire a weapon that will wipe out Jalal's tower, killing everyone within, including the, our heroes from Fairy Tale. And this is the final volume of the Tower of Heaven arc. As you can see, I really did go crazy. Because now I went into another arc, which I would, I think it's called the Thunder Palace arc. Loxus makes his move. Which I keep forgetting how powerful this guy really is. <laughs> it's terrifyingly powerful, really is. Even up to this point, which I saw in the anime, it's still like, dude, how powerful is this guy? <laughs> and uh, I'll read the, the Doomsday. The Doomsday Weapon. Master Makarov's grandson, the too powerful wizard Loxus, has seen the new fairy tale kill hall and doesn't like what he, see he sees. So he gathers some of the strongest wizards in the guild and starts a fairy tale civil war. This was a fun arc, though. Especially in the end, I really liked it. Again, because of reasons. So, yeah. And the final volume that I got is well, Mira Jane on the cover. The I was just poster girl of fairy tale. Then this fairy tale volume fourteen. In the back, the demons rebirth. Loxus wants fairy tale for himself, and he said it. And he set his three powerful allies against the entire guild. But when the attacks of Loxus's right hand man become sadistic, the attacks of Loxus's right hand man become sadistic. The guild's angel Mira Jane is forced to reveal the frightening satanic power she's been hiding for so long. Includes special extras after the story, like always, which I like and enjoy. Actually, those special extras, which I thought in the anime were filler, are actually kind of, you could say, canon, because they're in the manga. Even characters, which I thought were filler characters, were in the manga as well. So, yeah. 14, 11. Whoa. I kind of mixed up 11 and 12. My bad. You guys probably noticed that. <laughs> so, it's because I was reading volume 11 so I guess that's kind of I uh, mixed it up not noticing yeah as you can see kind of went kind of crazy with the fairy tale here first I thought you know the four was enough but I just couldn't stop because it was the because uh, I got it up to this point which is the beginning of the Tower of Evanar which is a really good arc in fairy tale which I would say is to start my favorite arc, like my first favorite arc, and so I had to finish it up. But I always like to get four volumes at least, so I had to get the others. Though it kind of cut off because there's only one more volume for this arc. And I kind of pissed, but I have to resist. I have to resist not getting another volume. <laughs> so yeah, let's put this in the side here. So yeah, this is what all I got. For the month of May, 
I mean, really, I got these four, like, yesterday, which was May. This is June 1st, and this is yesterday. So, yeah, I got these, like, last minute type of things. So, yeah, I got all this in the month of May. Just, I would say, awesome. And June is going to be pretty awesome, too. So, I'll see you guys for the June video. Well, well my next video. I wouldn't say June, because I don't know <laughs> what I might come up with. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Star245, that anime guy. Peace.